and welcome back to Caliente Coast. This is my rotational gameplay, Sims 2 style period. You guys already know the vibes. And we are here with our next household, the Lee household. On our right, we have Miguel Lee, who is a an aspiring professor. And on the left, we have Trina Loomis, who is his long-term partner. And she is a, a model or an ex-model. And they kind of just moved to the suburbs because Miguel is trying to pursue his um, career. And Trina wanted to be a supportive girlfriend and follow him and support his journey. So he is starting from level one of the education career and she is unemployed right now because she is an ex-model. She's a pleasure sim. He's a knowledge sim and she might be expecting. She might be. Um, and yeah, we don't know how she feels about that. So yeah, let me give you a quick tour of their place. Before I give you the tour, I forgot to go over their traits. So Miguel Lee over here is a schmoozer. He is a bookworm and he is ambitious. And again, I'm using the three to two traits project to be able to have these traits and these traits do affect gameplay. As for our lovely girl, Trina, our ex model over here, I guess, retired model. She is lucky. She is a natural born performer and she is a bit of a diva. A diva is a female version. Okay, let's go into the apartment now. All right, so if you remember correctly on this side, when I played my active career and I played my Winterfest episode, we played with Evelyn and her brother Andrew. They live on the left and then on the right, right here is where Trina and Miguel currently live. So they live in these townhouses that I built and yeah. And then behind the entry is the stairs to upstairs. I'm going to spin around. When you actually walk in, you are immediately met with this lovely living room right here. And they do have some Christmas decor that is up because it is still winter. We are on uh, five days left of winter. So winter really just started. And I like that because in real life, it's winter as well. So, yep, we have their living room. Sorry, we have their living room right here. Maybe I'll go into tab mode so it's easier for me. We have their living room right here as you can see and then on this side of course we have to put up a Christmas tree because period and they put up some lights and you know they have some mag a magazine rack right behind there a radiator. On this side of the apartment is a nice big window with some curtains and then they have their dining table. And of course there's a laptop because Miguel is probably working on some papers or some research or whatever. And then on this side of the apartment is the kitchen, as you can see. And the kitchen is actually really nice. I tried to make it kind of like industrial, kind of New York, you know, kind of urban. Um, cause that's just the vibe I get. I get that they used to live in the city and they want to bring a bit of that urban city life to, um, a smaller coastal town. So it's not really a coastal town. It's like a Midwestern slash coastal town. So this is the kitchen, lots of clutter, wine, cups, a toaster, coffee cup. And then back here is where they have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really? Uh, I mean, they, they usually eat their meals here and this is just where all the clutter comes and they have some industrial stuff. I believe that this is a washroom. It's pretty boring. I'll show it to you very briefly, but a very simple washroom as you can see. And then uh, we'll come out of the washroom and let's go upstairs. All right, when you're upstairs, you're met with this long hallway. At the furthest door on the hall, you have a bedroom and this is their bedroom. It is lots of plants, lots of greenery focused. I also like that they have this luggage full of Gucci because period. Okay, Trina was a model, so she must have been paid really well and gifted a lot of designer stuff so of course we have to have the luggage full of gucci and then we just have all the little bits and bobs that you randomly have in your bedroom um, and lots of greenery and it's kind of like chic like the shape of the lamps and the mirror is kind of chic um because i feel like they need a touch of that since they're not uh, they're well off i guess or trying to be well off but they, they're cultured in a, in a way uh, so this is the bedroom here and then this door leads to the bathroom and the bathrooms are simple i have not done anything to them this is just how i decorated them so this is the bathroom uh we come back into the hall there is another bedroom over here and it is empty at the moment i just have a sim blender in here and there is a washroom a shared washroom and then another bedroom so this townhouse is the exact same layout as uh evelyn and andrew's townhouse and there's three bedrooms so they can expand here they can move they can have roommates it's really up to them we'll see like where the story takes us so let's get this party started miguel is wanting to okay get engaged to trina that's really lovely and he fears getting rejected i'm gonna lock that in he also wants to reach cooking level two and gain a cooking skill point so we're gonna have him go ahead and do that i should have a bookshelf somewhere here I do. Okay, let me show you guys what I did. I hid this bookshelf in this little cart thing, right? So if he goes here and goes to study cooking, I'll just show it to you.
isn't that the coolest thing ever and he'll like actually bend down and then i got these book replacements let me show them to you as well oh i love it i absolutely love it and this is literally cooking for dummies <laughs> And you know what I love? The little dummy guy is holding a skill point plum bob thing. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I love this. I have to take a picture. Okay, so homeboy's reading and then Trina, who's feeling really good, good aspiration points. Let's actually, speaking of aspiration, make sure that we actually lock in their need benefits. Perfect. I don't know what her secondary aspiration is going to be and stuff like this, so I'm going to leave that for now. Um... But yeah, they must have had a good time at the park because lots of these f wants are fulfilled. Yeah, so none of them know that one another is, is uh, pregnant. Well, not one another. None of them know that Trina is pregnant. And um, she doesn't seem to be rolling any wants for like a long-term relationship, although she fears getting rejected. Okay, interesting. So this is kind of what life for them looks like. They kind of just play around. She wants to play a computer game, so we're going to let her do that. They kind of just do their own thing and support each other in doing their own thing. Miguel's kind of nerdy, and he likes to study a lot. He likes, he wants to be a professor. I like that he's thinking about woohoo, and he's thinking about Trina. Like, boy, we see you. I'm sure he's like, babe, can you um turn it down a bit? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to read Cooking for Dummies here. She's very restless, as you can see. Uh, why don't we take a bubble bath? Let's see the relationships. So, of course, he has a relationship with her. I wonder if they have chemistry. So, they don't have any bolts, interestingly enough. Um, and so, I'm wondering, like, is it that the chemistry is not there? Is it that they're not super attracted to each other? Or do they just need more time? Because he does want to propose. She doesn't have any chemistry bolts with him either. So that could also be that they've been together for so long that the spark is kind of gone. And, um, you know, maybe they need to rekindle that spark or maybe that spark's just not there anymore. Who knows? So some of Miguel's relationships, of course, with Trina, he's close with the neighbors. Andrew is the brother and Evelyn is Dr. Evie next door. Let's see his other friends. I don't know who he's been talking to around town. No one significant. And then with Trina... She's, of course, close with him. She's really good friends with the neighbor, knows the brother. She knows Ramona. She works at the hospital. Um, okay, she knows Renee. So they don't know too many people. She's heading out to play red hands with the neighbor, Dr. Evie, right here. And they're actually quite close. Listen to joke, okay? Um, she's close with both of them. This is Evie. This is Evie's brother. So she's chilling with them. <laughs> they all want to talk to her. Play red hands. Play red hands. Girl, we get it. We're going to play red hands. Um, but this is kind of their routine. He kind of lets Trina go out and do whatever she wants to do. And he's just like, she'll come home. She, he trusts her completely. He doesn't think she's up to anything bad. And uh, he just really appreciates her that she made the move with him to the small town that was building up their um, education system where he could fit in. Whereas in the big city, everything's already kind of built up. All the systems are kind of running. It's hard to like find your place. But he felt like here he could make more of a mark. And so they sold their stuff. They bought, rented this townhouse and they just moved over. And he's really wanting to work hard and make it worth it for her because he did take trina out of her comfort bubble i guess so they're playing outside Wait, boom he got it he got it he got it so yeah he's wants to reach cooking level three and he wants to reach creativity one we're gonna have him make some dinner and it kind of feels like that's their routine like she's not really into cooking but he clearly has some preference because he's rolling a lot of wants for it um so we're gonna make some dinner tortellini chicken Let's do tortellini chicken. He's like, ah, I learned this new recipe of tortellini chicken. <laughs> uh, cool. So she also wants to buy clothes. She wants to perform music for tips. She wants to go on a date. She wants to go swimming. She just wants to do a lot of stuff. Clearly she's bored. I think that's what we can learn um, from her sporadic wants. So let's see this tortellini. Ah. <laughs> girl don't go and make toast okay get out of the kitchen i know you're hungry she's like mm, that smells so good he's like yep making some tortellini just for you why don't you sit down and wait for it she made some avocado toast. Like, don't tell me. Okay. Tortellini. Let's see. 
Interesting. I don't know if it looks appetizing or not. Is it supposed to be shrimp? Well, it's supposed to be chicken. So this is what it is, y'all. Looks interesting. <laughs> so they're going to eat together and enjoy some food together. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of their routine, which I really like. He goes to work and he will be working tomorrow, right? Yeah, he works throughout the week. And then he'll come home, do some reading, do some prep work, and then make some dinner. So she kind of just like has the day to do her own thing. So they're talking about something. I don't know. They don't seem to be getting along about it. What are you guys talking about? He's like, I don't know. I don't want to have dinner too late these days. I feel like we're having dinner quite late. He's like, well, you know, I'm studying, but we can always have early dinner if, if you prefer. <laughs> Is he dead? You're full? Yeah, you're pretty full. Uh, so they're talking, I don't know, talking about their interests. I'm just worried that like, is the conversation dull because they don't have chemistry with each other? Maybe we need to do some um, learning because they seem like they really like each other. I don't know why there wouldn't be any chemistry. Like, girl, he's making you meals, honey. Why don't you put away the, the leftovers while he does the dishes? This is like a very slice of life episode. Okay, the neighbors are making noise. It's probably Andrew blasting his music. Okay, they're so sweet. Should we? I know you're tired, girl. Just give me a moment, okay? Give me a moment. Okay, Miguel, this is your time to shine. I think maybe they need to woohoo. I mean, they woohoo because she's potentially pregnant. So why is the chemistry not chemistry? -ing? Should I ask, will I woohoo? Sure, I'm game. Where's the bed? Total score 105, but attraction score is zero. You guys, is the spark gone? Okay, let's tell her to go and relax because she really wants to not be where she is. Go relax and we're going to have him pound on the door, on the wall rather, because Andrew is yet again blasting his music. He's like, bro, keep it down. Good. He turned he turned the volume down, period. And let's have Miguel come over here and relax as well. So they want to woohoo. That's evident. But to actually be attracted to each other, the attraction attraction score was zero. I'm concerned. I feel like is the spark gone? Are they not feeling each other? Like, what does he even like? You know, I'm obviously gonna have them woohoo right now because I want their attraction to, to go up. And like, why not? What does he even like? Let's see. He's attracted to glasses and makeup. She has a bunch of makeup on. He, she is attracted to facial hair and someone who's charismatic. So maybe, so maybe we have some things to work on. But I think the attraction can grow. Let's give them some privacy. Okay, y'all. Um, It is midnight. It's about to be 1 a.m. She just woke up. It looks like she's about to have bladder failure. Uh, but why is she waking up? Because of the bladder failure? Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You guys. <gasps> Our girl is pregnant. Okay, Trina, you're pregnant! I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. She's pregnant, y'all. It's officially official. She is my first pregnant sim in Caliente Coast. He's like clueless, oblivious, too tired to know what's going on. I'm sure she's absolutely freaking out right now. She's like, oh my gosh, pregnant, like, oh my gosh. Cause she is kind of like moved to a new town, pretty bored, not sure what to do. Like, and now like there's a baby coming and oh my gosh, I'm sure she's freaking out. She's waking up again, girl, Hold on, what's going on? She is going to make banana toast. Okay. Okay. Well, first she's going to clean this up. I'm very excited. She's pregnant. She's my first pregnant Sam. Doesn't she look so freaking adorable? Like I can't even breathe. She looks so cute and the pajamas and everything are giving. And I gave her this cute little bonnet. Again, this episode is going to be more slice of life, more kind of everyday vibes. Um, I don't think that she was necessarily ready to start her family, but I think that she can get ready if that makes sense and i think she's open she doesn't have a fear of having babies she has a fear of being rejected or her partner dying him not wanting her and so i think that this is good 
they can start their family and have some confidence and maybe having a family will kind of bring the spark back because for some reason the attraction ain't there but i also think it can be worked on they can become each other's dream person he just needs to be a little more charismatic maybe she's like you're always reading you're always in your books and you know studying and like we don't go on dates anymore we don't have fun anymore we don't talk anymore and maybe that's why she has this want to go on a date i'm gonna lock that want in and as for miguel he wants somebody with glasses so like i can just give her glasses and he thinks she's more attractive i don't know there's actually a mod that uh, i should probably grab and it lets you get leftovers like in single plates rather than having to bring out the whole plate so yeah she'll eat that and then go back to bed is the tortellini filling you up girly oh no don't fall asleep in <laughs> don't fall asleep with the tortellini <laughs> please wake up please she's so cute okay just try and finish a little bit more and then we'll send you up to bed cool yeah perfect so he's gonna eat before work and then we'll probably spend majority of the day with our girl i kind of feel like maybe he would make her like a little bit of a breakfast um she likes bananas so i think he's gonna make a banana sandwich really quickly for her so that when she wakes up she'll have like something cute to eat and i think that's kind of nice so let's 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 let him do that before he heads out to work so this episode like i said it's very slice of life to start I kind of like playing with my sims like this. I'm sure you can tell that Miguel is a lot taller. Trina is also quite tall because she's a model. So I use the height mod to make them a bit taller. I'm going to do a video on the height mod. I realize that I don't have one up, but I will do one. I got you guys. You already know the vibes. Okay, so you got to hurry up because the carpool is just about to turn up right now. Perfect. And you don't need to eat it, but you can just put it down on the... Yeah, put it on the counter. And then you got to go to work. So bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day. I have a mod in my game that does cause like pregnancy to actually be affected by your mood lights. So if your mood is too low um, or too in the red, you can have a trigger warning, a miscarriage. So I do need to be mindful of her needs and make sure that, you know, she's on point. Because if she does get too low in her needs, she could lose the baby. We have bills to pay. Okay, that does affect our shopping ability because we don't have as much funds as I thought. You guys, this banana sandwich actually looks really nice. Like, look how realistic that looks. That looks so good. And I'm sure that put like a little smile on her face, you know, because she didn't get to see him before he left. And she had a hard night. You know, they took some pregnancy tests at midnight and she found out she was pregnant and it was a, a hard shocker. So I'm glad that he's taking care of her in, in, in the way that works. All right, so now that Trina is done, we're going to walk to a lot, community lot, and we're gonna go to the clothing store, Chateau Chic. This is Chateau Chic. I did build it myself. It is supposed to kind of look more like a downtown style build. Of course, I'm not done putting in neighbor neighborhood deco, so you'll see that the side of it is empty. I actually have some plans for this side, but anyway, this part kind of looks a little more alive on the left side than the right. Um, and yeah, so this is the building upstairs is and the sides here are just fake i just put these doors there and stuff to look like fake buildings so it looks like there's a whole business here but really the main business is in the center on the first floor when you go inside of chateau chic you see dun, 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 this like entry way display area 
I really like this. So it's like kind of rustic with these boxes, some mannequins. You have these large mirrors where you can like look at your outfits, some seating areas. Um, yeah, I really like this vibe. Kind of industrial, minimal, but still fashionable i guess okay and so then when you actually go through these curtains here which i really like you're in the actual store and this is the store and yeah so we have like our racks our shoes our fitting rooms which is really really nice actually i like how this looks and of course you can see that the palette is basically black green or olive green and cream so we have more clothes here and then fitting rooms um, and then over here, of course, is like the checkout area where you would essentially pay for your things. So we have some shoe boxes and store bags and all that kind of stuff. And I like this cool light as well. So that's kind of the store. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, the other stores on the side, they're just deco. It's nothing, nothing real. We have some cars out front. You know the vibe. Uh, she's going to come inside and take a look. At herself make sure she looks good because she is a model after all she has she has a, a uh, what's the word a reputation to uphold a reputation to uphold so she's gonna come in and quickly just dust off make sure she looks good and now she's pregnant so she's a little bit more uncomfortable so hopefully we can find some maternity clothes right so here she is with her pregnant belly and the skirt does not look pregnant who can we talk to we have shauna here we have malaika here we have renee here let's talk to shauna let's greet her with our earthy hug greet her with a kiss kiss darling we remember shauna because andrew and shauna kind of sort of had a friends with benefits thing i don't know he kind of liked her kind of didn't lovely Oh, they, okay. They they seem to like each other. Let's talk and chat. And see where that takes us. They're at 14 right now. Okay, we have Ricky Uni. Remember him from the last episode? He popped by the girl's house. Oh, they're, they're talking, getting along. I like, I like. I just feel like Trina needs more friends. Like, her boyfriend and her neighbor can't be her only friends, you know? Oh, she's asking her about the baby. She's like, oh, how far along are you? She's like, yeah, I love kids. She's like, really? That's amazing. I'm so nervous. I don't even know what to do. And Shauna's like, don't even worry. Like, anytime, don't mind her scalp, okay? I'm going to fix that. Anytime you need anything, any advice, just let me know. I have a bunch of siblings. I grew up with a bunch of brothers. I basically raised them myself. So I would love to be friends and connect and, you know, support you in any way. <laughs> that girl was like, who Brandy Latourneau said, Ricky is ugly. <laughs> She's talking about woohoo. Okay, look at the girlies getting along. I love. So I think they're talking and chatting and just like, com she's kind of comforting her. And I think that um, Trina feels a lot better after this conversation. So I think we'll give her a earthy hug and another kiss kiss darling. Thanks so much. Yeah, take my number anytime. Thank you so much awesome she is looking over there because she wants to shop so <laughs> let's go over there guys let's just go shopping all right i've bought seven items i don't know if any of these have pregnancy morphs or not we're gonna just hope and pray okay we're gonna hope and pray that something works out um because i ain't got no clue at least i know the top she's wearing does have a pregnancy morph and so that should be good enough because the skirt needs to be changed immediately so she's gonna just pay for her items and now we have 637 simoleons left and uh we have bills to pay that are over a thousand simoleons and i'm sure miguel is not going to be too happy to know that we spent this much shopping let's go ahead and plan our outfit every day I'll go with this okay and that's her look right now since she's pregnant i know it's a bit disheveled but maybe she has like a kooky quirky style because i don't have enough maternity outfits in here are these two of the same sim? Oh my gosh, there's two Shauna's here right now. All right, so we're going to head out and she's going to continue on her journey. And we're going to go to the salon and get our nails done. Maybe do her hair a bit. Yeah. All right, here we are at the Blush Nail Salon. And if you haven't seen my video on functional nail salons, I have it up on my channel. And I can leave it in the description bar below. So I'm not going to give a tour of this lot because I already went through the lot and how it's functional, what mods I use, etc, etc. Interestingly enough, I looked at one of her wants and she wants to drink some juice, okay? And I'm going to have her have a drink. I think it'll just be a mocktail. I don't think we're going to have her drink a real drink. Um, look at all these people drinking. <laughs> Look at all these people. Okay, so let's grab a drink and we'll grab a mocktail. Um, can I please have a, 
what would be a blended then, right? No, let's have a port. Let's have a port. Can I have some orange juice? Pour it from straight from the bottle. Straight from the bottle. She's like, I don't want any alcohol, just the orange juice straight from the bottle, okay? He's like, I got you. <laughs> These are the lights on here as well. Nice. He's like, there you go. I put a little bit of mint in it for you. Thank you very much, Bella. Awesome. Okay, now we're chatting with Melissa Fancy, it seems. So this is kind of nice. It's like a social a social space. People are talking, getting along. Is there anyone in particular? She's Oh, she's very close with Priya. And this is the most beautiful spa meal place I've ever made. Like, I put my foot in it. It looks so beautiful. I think you're done with your drink, girly. Why don't you dispose of it? I put a garbage over there for that purpose. Um, oh, she has to use the washroom? Okay. <laughs> Pregnant bladder over here. Okay, gotta be. Okay, so I'm the nail salon in this case. This is the Nails by the Watcher. Okay, I am the Watcher. So what kind of nails would you like today, my darling? First of all, she has right now removed long red. Yeah, there we go. We removed it. I think this time we're gonna do long white. There you go. You can see a bit of the nails. She has white nails now. We'll talk a bit. Maybe we can just gesture and just give her a hug. And maybe a kiss kiss. Like, oh, it's really good seeing you. She's like, oh, I love how your nails turned out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you soon. And I think she'll walk home now. All right, so we are back home and our girl is extremely hungry. So we're going to have her get some leftovers because she's not in the mood to cook. She's very hungry and very tired as well. Um, so we have some leftover bagels. So we're going to have some of those. Bagels? Who doesn't love a good bagel? She will most likely fall asleep in her food because this this energy is, is real low. But let's try and get some food in her system and then get her to bed. I'm sorry. Not the cream cheese in the face. Girl. Girl. Yeah, get that cream cheese out of your eyes and your nose. Mm -hmm. So let's have her just go and sleep in her underwear so that she can get a higher boost of energy. Oh, Miguel has been promoted to teacher's aid. Teaching is a stressful job that requires a lot of grunt work and you are just the grunt to do it. LOL. What is he doing? He's getting the mail. Uh, let's pay the bills. Let's just pay them right now. Get it over with. Um, I'm sure he's going to wonder why the bank account is extremely low. And that's because his wife decided to do some shopping today. So that's kind of stressful for him. But she's pregnant and stressed enough. And so he's not going to say anything. Because maybe the shopping is just what she needed to overcome. So he's going to also just grab some bagels. And I know he's noticing like these bagels are from like a couple days ago. But he won't dare say anything. Because is he having a baby? He is not. He is not. <laughs> she is going straight to sleep. And we'll have him have a bagel and clean up a bit. And maybe prep some more meals. And I kind of like that that's their routine if it is. Um, maybe he preps food for her and then goes to work. So that when she's home she has something to eat. Because she's pregnant and she can't cook. Okay, she's pregnant. <laughs> I kind of like that. That sounds cool. So let's let's go with that storyline. And let's let's let him go like take a shower, get settled, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I do want to get him to cook something. So what should we do? We're gonna serve a dinner. Sweet mango sticky rice. Yeah. Don't you love his pajamas? I really like them. Miguel is super handsome. I made him so I can say that. <laughs> ah, I have to relive it. So he's just being like a dutiful boyfriend. And oh, I called him husband earlier. He's not husband, he's boyfriend. And he's gonna uh, prep some food for his family, for his girl, the woman who is carrying his child. Because I think he recognizes that, like, it's pretty hard for her. And she's going through a lot right now. You know, she's trying to figure out why the spark isn't there in their relationship. I'm sure she's feeling a little bit insecure. On top of um, navigating having this new pregnancy that, honestly, I don't even think she anticipated. So, there's a lot going on. So, we have that for tomorrow. The sticky rice is for tomorrow. And let's go ahead and make a group meal of... Um, the watermelon could be good. Pop up some watermelon. 
nice um and let's put it away let's let's serve it let's serve it i don't know what that's gonna look like so i'm very curious serving watermelon okay cool so just like a chopped up watermelon so maybe he'll just maybe he just woke her up gently when he went up to go take a shower like i'm gonna cut some fruit up for you so just come down when you're ready and have some fruit to eat you know the baby needs vitamins or whatever uh let's clean that up <laughs> the baby needs vitamins so i think she'll come down and actually have some and that's really sweet to me that he did that and then he'll probably tell her like oh i made some mango um i mean some some of that rice that you like when we go to the thai place the mango sticky rice so you can have some of that too she's like thank you babe i literally just felt so sick today and i went to buy clothes i'm sure this is what she's saying i went to buy clothes and nothing fit like there was only like sweatpants and this frumpy dress and like none of the couture items fit and i'm just so stressed about it like i'm so upset <laughs> and he's like babe, we're gonna get you the clothes that you need okay maybe we can do some online shopping or something to cheer you up but he's being like very gentle and cautious with her um because i think he also recognizes that she's transitioning and this is new and this is also unplanned and unexpected um and she's scared and feeling unlike herself and maybe that's why she feels like the spark is not there because her pregnant body is different and she's a model who's always been critiqued on her body he's like hey we're gonna get through this together whatever you need i'm here for you okay, it's not about work right now it's about what you need and i think she feels really reassured like i picked right and whatever weird spark issue they're going through, I think she's just assured that they're going to get through it. He's going to put away the watermelon and she'll continue eating. I like the idea of them like just sitting together. Like even if he's not eating, like they can still sit and chat and he can still be present like in her routine. Because he's literally like never around during the day. He's working and studying and researching and all that kind of stuff. This episode is very slice of life because there's not really any drama. It's just kind of our Sims figuring out their lives, figuring out themselves, that kind of thing. Um, and I like that. I like taking my time with them and learning who they are. So that makes me feel happy. And so it is uh, 11. It's 10, sorry. And they're going to head to bed. And you already know the drill. <laughs> You already know the drill. Why is he sleeping diagonally? Yeah, there we go. Why did he go to sleep? Hello? Your pregnant wife has raging hormones, okay? You can't sleep right now. <laughs> and lay it on her. And we will give them some privacy. Oh, she, he didn't, she didn't like that. She's like, you have me up here waiting for you. And you went right to sleep. <laughs> And she, he's like, forgive me, forgive me. I was very tired. My apologies. So let's give them some privacy. That was our rotational play for today. We play two rotations of them. So we'll see them essentially next round when she's ready to have the baby. Uh, let's turn off all the lights. Make sure we save some energy. And I will see you all in the next episode. So take care. Talk soon. Bye.